Guardian General and the Countess Rigmore. Uh oh. Uh oh, down war. The last dragonborn. And the Princess of Tamriel. We have a dossier on you, my lady, worthy of its own library shelf. What is it you want here, Justicar? Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Count Valeronin Kameas of Lelandro, envoy of the Almir Dominion, and commander okay. in chief of Tesso. <coughs> the Elven Special Operations. There are elven criminals that need to have swift justice exacted upon them. Renegades and former New Order traitors dug in on the Central Table Mountain, and I have been sent to offer my services as a gesture of goodwill between the Empire and the Dominion. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Any more? Fuck. I don't ask that you like us, Countess. I only ask for your trust. Trust? Your organization is no better than that of the New Order. Wherever the Thalmor tread, they leave a trail of misery, torture, and death. The only good thing Sethis did was kick you out of Cyrodiil. I do understand your hostility. And I don't blame you. Not for one moment. We, the Dominion, owe you a debt of gratitude for helping bring about the demise of the New Order. And I want to take this chance to personally apologize on our behalf for the suffering you endured at the hands of that traitor, the Thalmor General. Don't you even dare mention his name! No. Of course. How insensitive of me. But General Quintus, my special forces are at your disposal if you so wish it. I hope we can unite to bring about an end to the monster that resides within that mountain. And might I, at the very least, be offered the courtesy of parley, as to understand the situation. Please do not be alarmed, or suspicious. This letter of introduction should suffice to prove my intentions are genuine. It is signed by many dignitaries, including the Council of Elders in Exile, the High Justicia from the Isles, and diplomatic emissaries from Valenwood and elsewhere to name but a few. That's a lot of names. You must be very special to be in the no, you're saying because I don't see shit. Tamriel, and what's in it for you? We only want to win the war. As I said, my lady, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Nothing more. Quintus, you can't trust this ass clown. He's a justifier, a found war. <clears throat> it's pronounced justicia. Rigmore. Even Bar and Dar is a signatory. Let's all go inside and discuss the planning there. Whatever. I think I'll just go take a walk. The air around here has become unpleasant. She's kind of a bitch. Guardian General, see if you can talk some sense into her. I'll bring the count up to date. I wish I had to do it. If you've come to talk me around, don't waste your breath. Don't trust them, damn elves. No, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I remember. The enemy of my enemy is still my enemy. Let it go! They murdered my father in the worst way possible. 
He was denied a warrior's death, and they paraded him around the street of Alinor. While the people spat upon him, Dragonborn, they kicked and beat him, and they publicly hanged him for all the world to see. And... And he was all alone, and there was no one there for him. They tore my family apart, enslaved my mom, and flogged me to within an inch of my life. No! I will not let it go, so don't you dare try to patronize me. They will always be my enemy, and I can never, ever forgive them. All right. I want nothing to do with him or his special forces. So that makes it all right. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe you're right. Come all right. on, then. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That was quick. As you can see, the mountain has a... Jesus. A ...base camp. Red Guard Nomad Raiders. The heights and the top are guarded by mercenaries. It's tall. A few orcs and your elven renegades. I see. And the plan? We attack the base camp simultaneously in a pincer movement. The Guardian and Countess ascend the slopes and take control of the heights. That's where you come in. I suggest my forces are to accompany the Countess. Not only to take out the Renegades, but to offer some protection. <clears throat> I have updated the Count. He is to accompany your assault on the heights. Are you with child? What? How dare you? You would better keep your distance, Calcameus, or I won't be responsible for what happens to you. As soon as you've dealt with your elven renegades, I want you out of here. Do we understand each other? My apologies. I assumed... Can we talk privately? Thank you, General Quintus, for your hospitality. I don't know why she's so mean to him. We'll be waiting for the attack to begin, then join you. Pretty cool. You and I both know what's going on here, Guardian. I assume you spoke to the priest. He appears like a ghostly apparition, out of nowhere, but can only walk amongst us for a short time. At first it bothered me greatly. He told me of my own destiny, how it was entwined with yours, that we will both go on to become harbingers of a new era for men and mare, and beast. I believe so. Or is a guiding voice for them. He is the reason I am here at all. He said that you are unpredictable and it worries the gods. And if you were to deny them, other ways would need to be sought to fulfill the prophecy. Did she touch the shrine? I see. That's all I needed to know. We are just pawns in the game not of our choosing, Dragon Slayer. We are all servants of the great Lord Akatosh. I was chosen by the priest to gather a force, a special force. And I've been waiting years, biding my time, only for this moment. Do you think you can enter that mountain and prevail against the undead alone? What awaits you in there is beyond the realm of the mortals and the only safe way through to bring that little girl, the orphan bandit child, to do what must be done. 
can only be accomplished at the point of my silver swords. I am afraid that the Countess, no, Princess, will have to endure my company for a little while longer. It must be so debilitating for her after everything she has been through all these years. I am on your side, Dragon Slayer. On Rigmore's side. I personally took responsibility for the apprehension of the new order in Alnor, and I have been playing my role in the game, as you yours. Blind fool, look at you! What are you? Obviously you cannot even recall any schooling. Do you even remember where you were born? Where exactly do you hail from? Do you recall anything at all about your past? Is there one single thing you can tell me about yourself? Were you hatched from an egg or forged in a dank pool from offal? What of her? Rigmore, child of Ragnar named Sigunsdottir. Her whole life is a book. A tragedy to be read by all and sundry. A child chosen for a fate worse than death, and she keeps enduring. She keeps giving. Her strength and resolve unsurpassed. She is born to reign, and born to bear a child, and you no longer will be the last Dragonborn. For there shall be another. Akatosh wills it, and it will be done. So we, we're not done. Not yet, Dragon Slayer. Not oh. by a long chalk. It's too late, whether you like it or not, Rigmore's life was never hers to live. She is of the Mead dynastic bloodline, and will take her rightful place. The people will demand it. You can, of course, wander the wilderness for the rest of your days, or drink yourself to death. Have you spoken to the princess, Rigmore, about her fate? Because you should. But what if, when you arrive there, there is no bridge to cross? You owe her the truth at the very least. All right. Treating her like a fragile porcelain doll. You may come to find that actually, she does have what it takes after all. The child will be a septum, and she will be called Kintyra. Who you are should be as plain as the nose on your face. Until next time. Dragonborn, nothing is going to happen. What's made you think this way? Feel what? What's gotten into you? You're beginning to worry me now. I'm listening. No, I... Well, I did notice a little bleeding, you know. Down there? Oh god. No. Oh no, god. It's not. I feel so uncomfortable. It did worry me a little bit, but I just put it down. You know, women things. Irregularity. No. Dragonborn, you're scaring me now. What's going on? Dragonborn, what's going on? I would call Ragnar after my father. Kintyra? Dragonborn, what's going on? Yes. I remember, of course. Go on. This is frightening me now, Dragonborn. You had better not be making some kind of joke because it's not funny.
what about me? <laughs> you prayed at the chapel. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just can't imagine you doing that. That's all. <laughs> That's sweet of you. The danger of bearing a child. Your child? We talked about that. But the gods... Dragonborn, you can't be sure about that. I know the shrine went all weird, but shrines do that kind of thing with their glowing, shiny stuff thing. I could be pregnant, but it's too early to tell, and if I am, then we must trust them for my sake. It all fits now that I think about it. I've become so used to being used by the gods, so don't feel guilty. If I do have a child and I don't make it, promise me. Promise me you'll love her, care for her, and remember me. I would gladly die in your arms, and if... If Kintyra were to become Empress of all Tamriel, then at least my life amounted to something. I know you would. Promise me. You'll take good care of her. Why saying her? Go. Prepare for the battle. Come and get me when the time is right. Everything is ready. Sethri has joined Cassius and his unit to help protect the child. They have already gone ahead to await the attack and will follow in your wake. Count Camaeus and his men are in position. All we need to do now is join them. Understood. It's a war. As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Dragonborn. What's going to happen? I mean, if... when... Ugh. You know, if we do manage to defeat Morag and march into Cyrodiil and defeat Leowin and all of the nobles who turn against us and manage to get to the Citadel, fight our way across the bridge and fight our through to the palace and the Praetorian Guard to the throne. What then? Oh, that's easy then. You can do it. No. no. What do you mean, no? No! I can't! I can't do it! I won't do it! No! You do it, Dragonborn! You cut his head off! Why me? Why is it always me? Yeah, why is it her? Is that right? So are you sticking around this time? And what if there is a baby? How do I know you're going to be there for us? This nightmare just never ends and I can't see a way out. It goes on forever, Dragonborn. I'm falling into a black hole that goes on forever, and I can't make it stop! But... I'm scared. Dragonborn... And they shall come to know my name and tremble, be it gods, demons, or kings. The Dragonborn comes. Let's go do this. All right. Time. First, we can do C.
hell am I? Make it quick. What do you need? <laughs> Understood. Guardian General. The men are in position and await the call. They have noticed small detachments moving, but as I suspected, they have ignored us. We will have the element of surprise. As you command. Signifier! Call the assault! Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> What a come bitch. Assuming you have to go through here. Murdered the fuck out of him with a bow. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Is that all you've got? <laughs> Can I get up here? Alright, maybe not. Fight me!
feel like my sword's way too powerful. What is this guy doing? Killed everyone. <laughs> 